Andrew Ingram, Drowning Prevention Manager at National Sea Rescue Institute. I'm Jason Campbell, the founder and CEO of Delve Systems, a company that specializes in drowning prevention and water safety technologies. My name is Liras Dempis. I am the account manager for Access Communications for the Western Cape, as well as Eastern Cape and uh, Namibia. NSRI Sea Rescue or the National Sea Rescue Institute. Today we are over 1,400 volunteers and we have uh, traditional deep sea rescue vessels uh, and inshore rescue craft. We also do lifeguarding and we have an educational team of 21 instructors who go into disadvantaged schools and teach water safety, so prevention as well as rescue. Strand Beach um, is one of Cape Town's most dangerous beaches. Um, every year there's fatal drownings despite the fact that we have lifeguards there. The um, city of Cape Town has lifeguards there uh, and we have rescue stations there and um, people drown. So in, in an effort to mitigate that and to try and find ways of working with the lifeguards, we decided to have a, a proof of concept by putting cameras high up on um, a building above the lifeguard um, station. In designing the system which would operate our beach safety cameras uh, from both the software and hardware perspective, we knew we needed uh, extreme reliability, we knew we needed the best image quality. So the opportunity to work with organizations like the NSRI are far and few. Uh, we were quite fortunate for, to be granted the opportunity to work with them on quite a unique solution. Because of this camera system, we've now discovered that you get flash rips in certain places. So a flash rip, um, you can be in water and it's absolutely calm, there's waves coming in, and you, you're in your depth, everything feels good, and then suddenly you get this build up of water and it pushes out to sea very fast, like a, a fast flowing river. And at the same time, it erodes the sand from underneath your feet. So very quickly, somebody will be out of their depth, there's no sand underneath them, and they're being pulled out to sea. So prior to this camera system, we had no idea that, that this happened. And we now know exactly where it happens and we're starting to learn when it happens. So that is amazing with that kind of information, being able to see it from the angle that the cameras are, to have the recording of it so that we can use it in education and then working with the lifeguards um, to prevent people getting into positions in which they, they might drown. Um, the primary objective with the solution was to prevent the loss of life as well as assist the lifeguards in their day-to-day -day duties of assessing threats on the beach and being able to coordinate rescues uh, within the water. Our solution with the NSRI requires a camera system which is extremely rugged and reliable. Uh, having our systems go offline could actually result in the loss of life and for that reason we need to ensure near 100% uptime. It's very difficult to service our cameras, uh, which are often installed in remote locations in very inaccessible areas. And as a result, Access has given us the peace of mind and proven reliability on a camera system where we don't have to go out and service uh, our units very often and have incredible reliability and uptime. So what we provided them with was a PDZ as well as an overview camera giving them complete situational awareness as well as the ability to vest investigate any events that occur on the water as well as on the land. Those two feeds come into our emergency operations centre as well as to um, specific mobile devices. So for example, um, the senior lifeguards on duty um, are able to access the camera um, and to, to move it as they, they need or they see fit. Um, uh, as are a number of other senior sea rescue people um, in, in management level. It's complex to generate a good image in our deployment because our cameras are not on site. We need to stream higher resolution imagery over the internet, which often results in latency or bandwidth limitations. Access Zipstream allows us to stream the full resolution image at a full frame rate over restricted bandwidth networks. But what positively surprised not only myself, but the team at NSRI was the image quality that we were able to achieve with the access cameras. Uh, over remote connection and looking at very noisy environments such as the ocean, it's very complex for us to generate a good image quality for the client. The hardware is very, very good and we're able to plug so many different systems into it. So we, we can use um, stuff in the, f we're putting hardware in place now that we can use AI and machine learning in the future.
So a large part of what we do at Access when we're putting a solution together is we assess the current needs of the client, uh, being in the NSRI, as well as future needs that could uh, potentially come up in the future. Uh, and this is something called future proofing. Uh, and essentially what it is, is we provide them with a solution that's easy to scale and has the potential to add any sort of analytics or software that could create more functionality for needs that might arise in the future. Um, in addition to this, after we did the installation on the Strand Beach, we actually deployed a couple of cameras on one of the newer vessels that belong to the NSRI to provide them with situational awareness when they're out at sea. So the thing of having an EOC operator monitoring the cameras 24-7 um, really paid off in one instance when um, a double kayak got into trouble a couple of hundred meters off Strand in a strong southeaster. And our EOC operator was watching and he noticed one kayak um, that was in the southeast had two people on it uh, and they were, their paddle strokes were not matching. So the guy in the front is paddling and the guy behind him is not using the same timing. That suggests that they're not experienced. So he zoomed in on them and um, he had no sooner had he done that than they overturned. Uh, he was able to dispatch lifeguards immediately and then feed real-time information to the, uh, the lifeguards and the responding rescue crews as to exactly what was happening. So when the one paddler got separated um, from his, his friend and the kayak, um, we knew that that was happening. We then knew that the guy that was swimming with the kayak was able to pull it back to his mate and they were, they were both floating on it again. We knew the exact position uh, and it was an absolutely incredible feeling to see um, the lifeguard IRB arriving on scene and pulling those two um, people into their, um, their IRB, um, saving their lives within eight minutes. If that camera hadn't have been there, things might have been different. Access Communications was a partner with us from the beginning, from POC stage all the way to the deployment of the solution. We knew we needed a company that would support us pre-sales as well as after deployment. And Access was there for us from the beginning to give us guidance as to which products we needed, which technologies would assist us, and as well as supporting us after sales, after the solutions have been deployed.